good morning uh, student i'm dr dharmendra bn uh, in sixth semester um, bsc uh, teach uh, complex integration uh, today we we'll are discuss about what is that uh, syllabus in complex integration and some preliminary results on complex uh, line integrals and definition of uh, complex integration and also some properties of complex integration if you want to move that first one that syllabus uh, the syllabus is uh, the complex line integral and example and properties of complex uh, line integral proof of cauchy's integral theorem using green's theorem next uh, direct consequences of cauchy's theorem the next one and the cauchy's integral formula for the function and the derivatives next application to the evaluation of simple line integrals that is the first one the first one is cauchy's inequality next one is lewis theorem and the next one is the fundamental theorem of algebra next we have to the terms is that is the reference books that uh, the university suggested that reference books are the first one is complex analysis written by alfors next introduction to the theory of functions of a complex variable it's a uh, polka Uh, written by polka next one is complex analysis written by lang next uh, one is theory of functions of a complex variable by shanti narayan next one is uh, foundations of complex analysis so is pona swami innovation to complex analysis by both next complex variables and applications uh, so charlie and brown next complex analysis was so wasista and the last one is uh, visual complex analysis uh, it's a needham these are the reference books of complex integration so we have to go through the next one is uh, some preliminary results of a complex line integral or we have to call some definitions the first one an arc of a curve c in a complex plane is the set of points is defined by we know that value of z can be written as in terms of a complex number that is z is equal to x plus i y here z is a function of x y so when i have to write in terms of a complex plane that is at a two dimensional that is in terms of x and y axis here x and y axis is a function of t then z is also a function of t so that definition we have to take here Here z is equal to z of t. That is, is equal to x of t plus i into y of t. Here x of t is the terms of that uh, real part of z, and y of t is a imaginary part of z. The and also the terms of x of t and y of t are continuous real valued function of a single variable t, and it can be defined by that uh, the terms of that interval is. varies from a to b that is t varies from a to b uh, the for example when i have to take uh, x is equal to uh, a cos t and y is equal to a sin t uh, it can be written as z is equal to a cos t plus i into a sin t when i have to take a as a common factor that it can be represented as in terms of a circle definition that is a into i to the power of i t that is where a is a uh, here the terms of the radius and t is varies from 0 to 2 pi the terms is we have to observe here, uh, here t varies from 0 to 2 pi and it can be represented as a circle and center is at the origin and the radius is equal to a just we have to observe the graphical representation the terms of this one is x axis and this one is y axis Now I have to take in terms of a z is equal to a cos t plus i sin i into a sin t, or it can be written as a into e to the power of i t that represent a circle. Just we have to observe the terms, and, and that uh, that radius is uh, a. The terms is and center is at that point is zero comma zero. We can observe this graph. Okay, this is the terms of an arc of a curve C. in a complex plane is a set of points is defined by z is equal to x of t plus i into y of t when i have to put x is equal to a cos t and y is equal to a sin t that represents in terms of a circle 
and t varies from 0 to 2 pi. So, this is the first definition and we have to move on to the second one. An arc uh, or a curve, we can observe terms of an arc or a curve C is called a simple curve. We can observe terms of is called a simple curve. If it does not intersect itself, we can observe terms of it is does not intersect itself. So, I have to take in some uh, graphical representation that is in terms of a sin curve or cos curve that is a it lies between 0 to 2 pi or 0 to pi or 0 to pi by 2 that is a it can be represented in terms of simple curve ok. Itself uh, that does not any intersect that itself that curve ok and uh, the domain d okay, and that is the curve is c is defined by here also terms is z is equal to z of t is equal to x of t plus i into y of t where t varies from a to b ok is said to be a simple curve and what is the condition it is not intersect that means if z of t 1 is not is equal to z of t 2 where the terms is uh, t 1 is not is equal to t 2 in the terms of t varies from a to b here also we have to take that example when i have to put uh, x is equal to a cos t and y is equal to a sin t that is z is equal to a of cos t plus i into a of sin t with the terms is t varies from 0 to pi is called as a simple curve this is the semicircle above the x axis with the center is at origin and the radius is or uh, the radius is a you can observe the terms is x axis here that is y axis and the terms is the curve a simple curve that is does not intersect the terms of the points a to b here the terms of uh, the terms here that x axis above the curve that the curve does not intersect itself and the radius is a and, the, and also that is a center is at that origin you can observe the simple graph so we can uh, this one is the simple curve and the next one we can move the terms is for a simple curve c is defined by z is equal to z of t and x that is equal to x of t plus i into y of t where t varies from a to b the terms is and z of a and z of b are called the initial and final points in terms of terms of z of a and z of b are called initial and final points and if z of a is equal to z of b that is initial points is equal to the uh, final point then the path is called as the closed curve or jordan curve we can observe in terms of if z of a that is initial point is equal to z of b that is a final point is called as the closed curve or a jordan curve for example a boundary of a circle or a triangle or rectangle or ellipse are called a, a closed curve you can observe the terms of the first one when i have to take that circle that initial point is that is to take in the terms of z of a that is the terms is that is end the ending point when i have to take this curve uh, again that it will meet the same curve that is z of b so we can call this a closed curve similarly when i have to take in terms of a triangle there is a triangle that is the initial point is the terms initial point uh, it it moves the terms of like that that curve is so therefore it's a closed curve or a jordan curve similarly in terms of a rectangle we have to take this point is a initial point it moves the terms is the curve that is the first one the second one and third one and the fourth one it will miss again the terms of that initial curve then and also it is a ending point that is z of a is equal to z of b we can call this one as a closed curve or a jordan curve we can move on to the next one next uh, that is fourth one a path uh, c is said to be a smooth or a differentiable curve what are the terms is if it is a differentiable curve or smooth curve that means if it is the curve does not any sharp edges so if it is a differentiable means the curve is a smooth curve or it, it must be not having any uh, sharp edges or sharp notes the terms is 
we can observe the terms is if both x of t and y of t are differentiable at t and x of x dash of t and y dash of t are continuous in that interval a to b that is t varies from a and b the terms is next the example here also we have to take that the path is defined by a, uh, defined by a z of uh, t is equal to cos t plus i sin t and the terms is uh, here t varies from 0 to pi by 2 okay the terms is that is a unit circle and i have to take the terms of a a is equal to 1 the terms here so it can be written as in terms of uh, uh, 0 the t varies from 0 to pi by 2 is called as a, a smooth path okay so the terms is here that varies from you can observe the terms is uh, the graphical representation that is a quarterly circled okay the quarterly circled the terms of 0 to pi by 2 okay. so this one is not having any sharp edges definitely this curve is a, a differentiable curve so therefore we can call this one as a smooth curve or differentiable and also if it is the not a differentiable curve that it can be written as that it must be having a sharp edges you can observe the terms of it must be having a sharp edges whereas the boundary of a triangle is not a smooth at that vertices we can observe terms of smooth it is not at smooth as at the vertex the x of t and y of y sorry x dash of t and y dash of t are not uh, uniquely defined that's why it's called as it's not a differentiable function and the, any a smooth curve or the terms of a differentiable curve it must it must it must not containing a sharp edges so this is the example of the smooth curve or differentiable curve next we have to move the terms of a curve consisting of a finite number of smooth curve joined end to end we can observe the terms of joined end to end the terms is called as a contour for example that this one is end to end that is a circle and next one is a triangle and the next one is a that is a square okay. we can call this one as a uh, contour that is end to end the terms is starting point and ending point the terms is we can call this one as a contour and again the next one the terms is the sixth one a curve c is defined by z is equal to z of t that is is equal to x of t plus i into y of t t varies from a to b is said to have oriented positively we can observe terms of oriented positively that means that is a anti-clockwise direction the curves moves at anti-clockwise direction we can call that one as a uh, oriented positively if z of t varies from that initial points to final point as t is increases from uh, a to b in terms, of terms of t is increases from a to b example here also we have to choose the terms of uh, uh, x is equal to cos t and y is equal to sin t the terms is and also here t varies from 0 to 2 pi the given circle uh, the z of t is equal to uh, cos of t plus i into sin of t where t is varies from 0 to 2 pi is positively oriented curve in fact it is described in a clockwise direction uh, so sorry anti-clockwise direction the terms is so we can choose the terms is that is a positively oriented curve if positively oriented curve is defined by you can call that as a c okay the terms is integral over the curve c then the same curve with negative oriented is defined by minus c so i have to take the terms of the clockwise direction so we can choose the terms is that is minus c in fact it is described the clockwise direction you can observe the graph the graphical representation we have to take in terms of a circle so that is it will move on the anti-clockwise direction you can observe here so we can call this one as a positive curve suppose in terms of a negative the terms is the circle it moves on clockwise direction you can call this one as a negative 
so I have to likewise the terms of the next one is set uh, S in a complex plan is said to be connected set the terms is you can easily assume the terms of connected sets if two points of S can be joined simply the terms of if two points of uh, S can be joined it, it can be written as in terms of a joined or connected by the curve of all whose points belongs to S when I have to take the two points of S it, it, it can be connected so or it can be joined it can be called as a connected set next one a set s in a complex plane which is both open and connected is called a region what you have to call a set s in a complex plane which is both open and connected is called a region in the complex plane example in other terms of a region D in a complex plane is said to be simply connected if every simple closed curve lying entirely in D in terms of lying entirely in D can be shrunk at a point without crossing the boundary of D without crossing the boundary of D roughly speaking a region D is said to be simple connected if it is if it has no holes you can observe terms of it has no holes when I have to observe the figure A and also a region which is not simply connected is called as a multiple connected region that is in terms of uh, in a graphical representation that is B you can observe terms of the first one that is when I have to consider a circle it is a simply connected you can observe terms of as a simple connected and it has not <coughs> the terms is it has not hold so entire the terms is uh, it is a simple you can observe here the statement if a, if every simple closed curve that is the terms of uh, lying entirely in D lying entirely in D so that the terms here the domain is D here and similarly the second one that is that we have to observe that D the curve is and it can be consisting of so many holes okay we can con we can call this one as a multiple connected in a region D so it has no holes we can observe terms of we can call this one as a region it's a simple closure and this one has a multiple connected so the, the simple connected and multiple connected this the, the, the can con consider the examples and next one is the definition of line integral a line integral of a complex function let d be a region you can observe the previous example the terms of uh, the region in the complex plane and f of z is equal to u of x comma y plus i into v of x comma y here f of z here z is a complex number the function of a the complex number okay that is is equal to u of x comma y plus i into v of x comma y their function of a complex number again the terms of it can be written as u of x comma y plus i into v of x comma y that real part is also containing the terms of a function of x and y and v is that imaginary part is also function of x and y here yeah. be a complex function defined on d let c be a positively oriented curve we know that previous example the terms of what is the positively oriented means it's anti-clockwise direction and let x of t and y of t t varies from a to b be a real parametric equation of c so that z is equal to so you are simply say that x plus i y or z of t is equal to x of t plus i into y of t so therefore when i have to take in that uh, differentiating with respect to the corresponding that is dz is equal to dx plus i into dy be a complex equation of c then the integral of f of z f of z 
from z is equal to a to z is equal to b is defined in terms of the values of f of z at the point along the smooth curve c extended from z is equal to a to z is equal to b in the domain d such integral is called as line integral and it is denoted by integral over the curve f of z into dz over the curve c where this slide is missing the terms of integral over the curve c or by we have to take in terms of mathematically that it can be written as integral over the curve c f of z into dz just we have to substitute what is f of z where f of z is u plus i into v and dz is uh, the terms of dx plus i into dy so we can observe terms of integral over the curve c f of z into dz is equal to integral over the curve c that is u plus i v into dx plus i into dy okay now i have to multiply the uh, real part and imaginary part the first one we have to terms of the real part is u into dx okay again the terms of here we have to multiply i into i that is i square we know that i square is minus 1 that is v into dy that is the real part the road is the real part u into dx minus i into v in, uh, sorry minus v into dy because i, is, I into i is i square you can observe the next one the next one is imaginary part is i into v into dx and the next one is u uh, i into v u into dy when i'm multiplying these two terms so or it can be rewritten as integral over the curve that is u dx plus i into i i square into v into dy the next one is u into i into dy plus i into v into dx so we can easily separate that uh, real and imaginary part here the terms of when i take here i is a common factor in this last two term here the terms of i square is minus 1 we know the terms is it can be written as integral over the curve c u into dx minus uh, v into dy plus i into u into dy plus v into dx because i square is equal to minus 1 or it simply it can be written as the terms is when i have to split uh, uh, imaginary and real part over the integral c integral over the c f of z into dz is equal to integral over the c is a real part is u into dx plus i into dy plus i into that is the imaginary part the terms of integral over the curve c u into dy plus v into dx or also the terms of if um, z uh, is a function of t the furtherly it can be written as the terms of integral over the curve c f of z dz is equal to integral over the c the terms of t varies from a to b f of z of t into dz by dt into dt so it can be also can be written as the terms of in terms of t so like this okay. some uh, general property of line integral the complex number the terms is the first one integral over the c k into f of z into dz where k is a constant you can uh, it is free from that uh, uh, integral you can take it outside that is equal to k into integral over the curve c f of z into dz where k is a real constant next uh, the second one integral over the curve c f of z plus or minus g of z into dz that can be written as we have to split that integral into two parts if it is a positive or negative that is plus or minus this is equal to integral over the c f of z into dz plus or minus integral over the c g of z into dz next one it's a positively oriented curve that is integral over the curve c f of z into dz one out to taking that uh, multiplication of minus and the terms of uh, positively negatively oriented that can be written as minus integral over the curve minus c f of z into dz that means when i have to interchange that upper and lower limit that becomes a minus and the direction is it is a uh, clockwise direction that is oriented negatively the terms is okay and the next one integral over the curve uh, c is made up of two curves the c can be made up of two curves the first one is c1 and the next one is c2 then 
that integral can be written as that is c is equal to c1 plus c2 integral over the, that split into two curves the curve c can be written as the split into two curves that is first one is c1 and the next one is c2 so therefore c is equal to c1 plus c2 so it can be written as integral over the curve c f of z into dz is equal to that is integral over the c1 f of z into dz plus uh, integral over the c2 f of z into dz the next one uh, that is a uh, integral uh, the terms of modulus of the integral over the curve c f of z into dz if it is having then that is negative term that is less than or is equal to integral over the c mod of f of z into dz so this is that property of line integral so now we are to ending that this session so we are to taking some properties and what are the syllabus in complex integration so in next class we have to move on to the uh, problem oriented thank you